What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to update our PHP version, server version using SiteGround, okay? But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO plugins, optimizations and many many more topics and our choose internet and site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is access your SiteGround account. You can go to SiteGround login on Google. Go to this first URL. You're gonna be into this page. Enter with your email and password. Okay. After this, you're gonna be into this dashboard right here. Your SiteGround account. From here, we're gonna move from the top navigation menu from home to websites. Review my websites and click on Site Tools. Okay. Next to the website. This gonna load you the tools of your site, okay? Review the left sidebar of menus. Next to the statistics, email, domain, WordPress, speed, security, site, and dashboard, there is devs field. You're gonna click on devs, okay? And right here we have Git, Cron Jobs, PHP Manager, SSH keys, and App Installer. We're gonna go to PHP Manager. Click on it. Wait a moment while it loads. And here we go, we have right here, manage, manage PHP settings for your site name, PHP version. By default, you need to change it manually, so hover your mouse over the PHP version number, click into this little pencil icon, and now set PHP version, we have, you can have the manage PHP or the change PHP version manually, okay? I recommend it to change mainly and update it for the latest available available version or for at least the H1, okay? Because others is being updated and will no longer be supported, okay? So for a better site, a faster site, you need to upgrade your PHP. However, a couple of your apps, tools, plugins may not work correctly. So you need to update, confirm and then go to the site and review if everything is working nicely. If not, go back right here, click into the edit section and change the PHP version once again. You can downgrade or upgrade. More upgrader being means better PHP and more secure, but may have conflicts with other tools, okay? But this is how to update PHP on SiteGround on 2024, okay? There is other options for PHP variables, okay? Right here, you can change some sections, some models of PHP important for a couple of applications, okay? And we have PHP extensions, okay? You can enable PHP extensions right here. For example, ImagePeak is a very important one for WordPress, so it's off. You can click right here and set as on for working on WordPress, it's great. But to change any part right here, it's simple as it is. Success, change made, and you are good to go. And that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget that if you need a great server in a ship cost, there is a link into the description below and a card over here. But don't forget to check out our growth.net platform, a place where we can submit our blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, our sites.gallery to promote your site, your app, your game, all for free. And in the case that I want to go premium while doing your WordPress website, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and unlock full access to our entire template library, with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, in addition for premium icons, assets, blocks, tools, templates, plugins, and many, many more features to create the site of our dreams. And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!